Well, guys, it's like <clears throat> bitter outside, but warmer than yesterday. I think today it's like, I don't know. It's gonna be like seven or something. Oh my God, it's cold. It's like I had to put on all kinds of stuff to go outside just to go to the garage. I'm out here whining about the temperature and there's some like ladies over here just walking. I guess it's it's not that bad. You know, I could exist out here. I might do something besides just sit in the house and get on Zwift all day. Gonna work on this bike today. 24.67 pounds. Steel frame, carbon fork, disc brakes, through axles. 105.11 speed. 22.3 pounds, aluminum frame, steel fork, cantilever brakes, Tiagra 10 speed. A lot of potential though. Cat, name, Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Meow. Perfect. Yep, need those. Might need these. Uh, disc brake. Need a disc brake. Yes. Disc brake. Looks like a new one. Oh, it's so cold I can't feel my hands. Uh, I need spacers and bolts and crap, but I don't have those. Maybe that's this stuff right here. Ooh. Ooh, it's so cold, I can't feel my hands in there. All right, and then, uh, oh yeah. Uh, <sighs> 29er carbon wheel. So this is really interesting. Um, I got this bike from a friend, and that is a 3611 XT rear cassette from a mountain bike, which I knew it was big when I got it, but I haven't really, like, I got this bike from a friend last year, and I just never really looked at it. In fact, I loaned it to someone to ride for about three months because they needed to just test out a bike, and I said, yeah, you can try this one. And I recently just got it back. So. Um, this isn't supposed to work. That is a 5700 105 derailleur. So that shouldn't really work, but it seems to work just fine. Uh, I know I rode this bike around a little bit and it, it shifted through all the gears. This is supposed to have a max of 32 cogs. You can see it's in the big ring there. It is really open. Now, this is interesting, but this gear combination up on the front here square taper old school bottom bracket uh, old school crank that's the lowest uh chain ring it can run that's a 39 and that's a 52. so the 39 36 is actually a little bit lower than what i've been riding gravel on for the last year which is for some reason i've been riding on a 32 chain ring and a 28 road bike cassette so <laughs> So this is actually lower just like it is right now. And I can make it quite a bit lower by swapping this out to a compact crank. And that will help quite a bit. And it won't hurt me at all because the compact crank is like a 3450. And I'm not going to need that. So just running it through the gears. Let's test it. The shifters are the Tigra 4600s, so they should have compatible cable pull with anything at 7, 8, 9, 10 speed.
Yeah, definitely missing a shift somewhere. So this fork is steel. It's got a little bit of rust on it right here. Uh, it's probably pretty heavy. It's <laughs> also cut very short. There's no real room here, and I would like to ride it a little bit higher. I would like my stem to probably have like at least some spacers here. Get that up a little higher. So uh, I've got a fork to swap out. That's going to be an easy thing to work on. By the way, I used to have a great space in my old basement to work on bikes, like a workshop. And I don't really have that yet. I've never really worked that out here. I've got an awesome garage with a workbench and everything, but it's usually either too hot or too cold half the year to work in there. This is a great way to work on bikes if you can just find something to hang them. I used to have a work stand, but I like this better. It's just so much easier to put it up and, and it's it keeps it up at your like eye height when you're standing. It's definitely, definitely great. So lots of things that need to be fixed on this bike. Um, but I think this could be a much better solution for me for a lighter gravelly race bike instead of the, the 25 pounder I've been riding. Man, yeah, a little, a little rusty in there. Probably need to look at those bearings. It's all good. Okay, guys, there she is. I just weighed it. It's 20 and a half pounds right now. So that is minus pedals. That's probably going to add a pound and minus uh, brake. So it's gonna end up weighing about the same as it did. I'm not really losing any weight on this crank set over, over this crank set. And that's not really why I'm changing it. I don't really care. I'd, I'd be happy with this, um, this old school crank set, except for the gear range on it. It's kind of silly. It's 48, 42. That's the, so, or 48, 41. I just counted them up and so anyway, this this there's a uh, not a lot of not a lot of gear range there. So this is a modern uh, compact 50 34. So now with 34 36, I've got a 0.9 something gear ratio. Uh, I found a 105 9 10 speed 105 rear derailleur, and for some reason I had to put this on it. And my dad gave it to me, and he'd stolen the the bottom jockey pulley off. So I put that blue one on I had, and uh, surprisingly it barely fits, the chain just barely fits through there, but it does work. Um, shifts decently, like surprisingly, for being the fact that that's not supposed to go below 30, but it works. It's a little bit, you can feel it, it's a little bit grindy, well definitely you can hear it and feel it. It's a little bit grindy, I've got that, I could, I could run that in a little bit more. But really, I need to get the little adapter thing that goes on there and pulls that back a little bit. And if I had that adapter doohickey, <laughs> wolf, tooth, wolf Tooth makes. So I think the bike is going to have a BB-5 on the front. And I don't know what BB-5 breaks away, but probably by the time it'll be a little less than a half pound. So when I get pedals on here, uh, 20 and a half right now, so that'll be 21 and a half. Let's say it's going to weigh 22. Now, I probably am 100%, not probably 100% going to change this back tire to something more gravelly. And this 35 on the front here is going to change. But um, I'm not sure about running tubeless on these old school rims. I'm going to try it, see if it works. But um, I actually can't do tubeless on this wheel anyway. Because this wheel, if I run BB5, isn't disc wheel. It's an old school road wheel. So anyway, figure that out. But uh, pretty happy with what I got going right now. Um, I know it's I'm going back in technology a while, but to me that's the spirit of gravel anyway. Is just to me that's <laughs> part of the spirit of gravel. Like I think gravel bikes should be kind of experimental anyway. Like like um, I'm not going to go buy an off the shelf bike that I'm going to use for a handful of rides a year. And uh, though I do really want to not have a flat and I want to finish this one. So coming up. So anyway, all right. See you guys.